Hi everybody. So uh, today I want to show you how to uh, design a signal uh, signal LED. Uh, yes, the indicator for your amplifier. Remember, this is right mid, uh, but due to cost and fault and the rest over the years, so I decided to rebuild it. Well, okay. So uh, how do we then uh, uh, convert this? Because Remember the way this one was being done is it's been work it's working with this board and with this board there is a program signal. Uh, we have some what is it so called mm, programmable IC there too. We have one here. So without it it will not sense and remember I built this with my own method so it will not work with this board again. So but I need something to hit indicate whenever my hump is working. For example, if my signal is low, it should indicate if it is if it is loud. At least the light should be you understand to indicate very well. So what I will simply do is, uh, I have a lot of bulb here. I have a lot of bulb here, but uh, it's just for you to choose the one you want. So I prefer this particular one is giving me a signal. So that is the one I need. So I came there. What I simply do is very simple. Let me just illustrate it. So this is the leg of the bulb. You understand now? These are the two legs. So I peel all the connections sending because remember we are this is the main signal, the wire that is coming there before before we cut it off. And we need something to indicate at least when our speaker is working to give us signal. So I peel this wire. The way I die because I don't want the signal to send to the wrong place and cause problem. So I simply peel it. So let's assume I want to use this two terminal and I will peel this off so that this will not be sending to another place. So immediately I peel that and I take this two wire. Look at the two wire. I just start there. So assume I did it in such a way I'm using just the bulb alone there. So I just connect the wire to it. So once you connect the wire to it now. This is my wire. If you look it now, this is the wire. Look at the way it's coming. So down to my down to my preamp board. So it's very simple. Know the positive terminal. If you want to check that, it's very simple. Just take a battery, use it to touch the wire. It's a DC bulb. So just use it to touch it. Once you know the positive side, then come to this your preamp. Look at the side that you use for your speaker output. Then get a resistor because if you don't use resistor, that bulb will burn because of the high voltage coming there. So get a resistor depending on how bright you want. If you don't, if you want it very bright, you may use maybe one k, two k. But if you want it, the light to be very dim, maybe like five k, ten k. Depending on what you want, but I use just two point five k. I need to see the light clearly. So look, this is my resistor. So this is my positive side here, going to my. So this is the positive side of the remember this is the wire will connect to that bulb here so it's now going straight to our speaker output so i sewed it together look at it i sewed it together to my speaker output then the ground i connect it to the ground connection so uh i'm not in this now because you know i've dismantled everything because of the purpose of this video i'm recording for you guys to break down the way an amplifier work so if you want to check if your work is correct or not so this is your positive side now. This is my negative side. This is my negative on this battery. This is the positive. So if I use it to touch it now, should be able to see that light. Uh, she may not see it clearly because of my okay. She manage. It's because my camera light is on. But let me manage. You should still see it. You see it now. You see it coming up. So if the if the sample. By the time it's been powered and it's working, if the signal is high, it will be very, very bright. You understand? If it is a weak signal, it will just be very, very faint. I believe you can see that now. If I remove it, you see it now. So that's just it. That's the way to work. So I just pick the signal from there. Now pick my positive side from the main speaker out. Then my grand to the grand there. Just send it to this place. But ensure you peel those bulb on uh, the line. So that it doesn't send to other area. Remember that we've converted to our own, not what it was really designed for. So for the second side too, the same thing is applicable. Look at the way I did it. I peel the other side, then I 